Here we go, apologies for missing the Friday ambulance video. Uh, last week was a pretty busy week, but we're on schedule for this Friday, so don't worry. So here's a bit of a job I've been doing on my quarter major. Uh, this hydraulic spool block, which is cast aluminium, has got a crack in it and it leaks oil everywhere, uh, so I can't use the tractor. So time to make a job of repairing it because I haven't been able to get one. Uh, make a note of how easily that seems to slide out like that because getting back in was a bit of a job Anyway, the plan is to have a go at TIG welding a repair on this and If we cross our fingers and our legs and everything uh, it might work So I ground up the side so I could get good penetration on the well, but left all of the granular knobbly bits uh, and This is so that they make a good key to put it exactly in the right place. That's the idea now I cleaned this up as well as I could of acetone and whatnot, and even so, uh, there's still a lot of dirt in it. And obviously cast aluminium has got quite a lot of uh, impurities in anyway, and a bit of a nightmare to TIG. Uh, I'm not Mr. TIG, I'm not an expert in TIG welding, um, I just play at it. But with this Artec uh, TIG welder, and with my Artec Spiritus welding helmet, which I'm absolutely loving, uh, it seemed to go pretty well. Uh, it's not pretty, but remember this has got to be pressurised hydraulic oil tight. So it was imperative uh, to uh, get it in there well. And of course, when TIG welding cast aluminium, you do have to keep going over with the heat to try and boil out all of the rubbish uh, so you don't have any pinholes. So there we go. Finger sanded it with the Evolution finger sander and uh, that cleaned it up. But of course, the mounting face has got to be perfectly flat and true. So over to the Colchester lathe, put it in a four jaw chuck. Yes, I could have done this on the milling machine fly cutter, but generally I prefer to use a lathe. So uh, I put quite a slow speed on. Now I know this will give me not a brilliant uh, surface finish, but I didn't want the thing flying out of the chuck. Uh, as I say, it's really hard to get hold of these. Uh, anyway, it's quite nice uh, hearing it chink the chips off. Anyway, there we go. It's not a bad surface finish. And with a bit of uh, gasket maker, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, there we go. I filed off that uh, bit of right. weld on the inside. So uh, if you have a look in my link tree, I've got a discount code uh, kindly given to me by the boys at Artec. Great chaps. I had the pleasure of meeting them today. Uh, they really are uh, the real deal and know everything about their kit. You know, brilliant. Right. With that, it was back over to the tractor and start put it back together and that piece that slid out ever so easily earlier would not go in. I can only assume it's an incredibly tight tolerance part and it was a different temperature. So uh, while the cat's away, nipped over to the old freezer and got it in there for two hours, uh, gas mark six, and uh, then gave myself frostbite uh, trying to handle it to get it on. But it did work, it did then manage to go in. Uh, wind up all the bolts, got it nice and snug, and uh, there we go, and uh, whooped. Well, we've got to give it a go, haven't we? So, uh, fired up the old girl. She's not starting too well at the moment. The battery's a bit low, and she has been sat for over a year um, because of this problem. Just keep trying to get around to fixing it. Anyway, got it fired up, and remarkably, no leaks. I thought there was a massive leak, and then I remembered I'd left uh, the hydraulic tank for the load of Because I thought I'm getting an airlock before I can get the piston in. But uh, no, fired it up. Lever up, there we go, pressure up, arms come up, no oil spewing everywhere, lever down, same thing. So to be honest, that's quite a result because TIG welding aluminium, for those of you that know about TIG welding, isn't an easy task. Uh, and for those that don't really do TIG welding, um, yeah, I found that quite an accomplishment. So with that done, time to blow away some of the cobwebs. Uh, you are right in and tell me I need a roll cage, uh, feel free. Uh, yeah, it goes quite well, this tractor. So, uh, for those of you that are frightened that I'm going to paint this up and restore it and make it look absolutely brand new, I'm not. Uh, I enjoy it as it is, just does a little bit around the farm, a little bit of about, and a bit of a play for it. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye.